Now welcome back to Master of Academy of Mathematics. It is the next continuation problem in higher order ordinary differential equation. Let us think about Cauchy Euler differential equation. So any differential equation is of the form x power n d power n plus p1 x power n minus 1 d power n minus 1 plus 1 pn of y equal to q is generally said to be cauchy euler differential equation so if such type of model is available of the differential equation that was given by cauchy and euler both are the mathematicians now in order to find out the solution of such cauchy euler differential equation i just give you the procedure here based on that you can directly find out the solution so it should be in this particular form where P1, P2 and so on Pn. These are all nothing but some coefficients and the Q is nothing but it is a function of X. Now you are starting with X equal to E power Z such that logarithm of X equal to Z. Then you are supposing X into D it is equal to some theta X square D square theta theta minus 1 x cube d cube theta theta minus 1 theta minus 2 and so on where theta stands for d by dz now you are substituting these values in the given differential equation to get of the form f of theta of y equal to q here q is nothing but in terms of z variable now you find out a complementary function by calculating the auxiliary equation f of m equal to 0 then you are finding particular integral which is yp equal to 1 divided by f of theta of q. Now you are applying your previous well known methods based on the function of q. Then you are calculating complete solution it is yc plus yp. So this is the brief procedure to be available for Cauchy Euler differential equation. Now let us have a problem, solve x cube d cube y by dx cube plus 2x square d square y by dx square plus 2y equal to 10x plus 1 by x. So is it looking like Cauchy Euler differential equation? The only the thing is x cube means it should have compulsory d cube, x square must have d square. So like that it is in the same combination you can say that it is Cauchy Euler differential equation. So first you write down in the symbolic form. So how to write down the symbolic form? If I am introducing D stands for it is D by DX. So based on that directly I am writing here X cube D cube plus 2 X square D square plus 2 of Y that is equal to 10 X plus 1 by X. So this is about your given differential equation. Now in order to apply your Cauchy Euler differential equation, let us start with x equal to e power z. This indicates log x equal to z. The next step is you are introducing x into d equal to theta, x square d square equal to theta theta minus 1 and still we have x cube d cube. So you are substituting x cube d cube theta theta minus 1 theta minus 2. Now these values you are substituting in the given equation. So what about this x cube d cube means theta theta minus 1 theta minus 2 plus 2 into x square d square is nothing but theta theta minus 1 plus only constant 2 is there. This is of y that is equal to 10 into what about the x value we suppose it as x is e power z. So x is e power z plus 1 by x that means 1 divided by e power z that I can write e to the power of minus z. So now you just make the simplification if I make the multiplication theta square minus theta it is multiplied by theta minus 2 plus 2 theta square minus 2 theta plus 2 of y equal to 10 e power z plus e power minus z. Again I am making the simplification direct multiplication here. So it becomes theta cube minus 2 theta square minus theta square 
plus 2 theta plus 2 theta square minus 2 theta plus 2 of y it is 10 e power z plus e power minus z so I am making the simplification theta cube as it is minus 2 theta square plus 2 theta square is cancelled minus theta square one more term is there and uh, plus 2 theta minus 2 theta is cancelled we have only plus 2 ok theta cube minus theta square and plus 2 it is of y that is equal to 10 e power z plus e power minus z now this is looking like some f of theta of y is equal to q model where f of theta stands for theta cube minus theta square plus 2 and q is nothing but 10 into e power z plus e power minus z so based on that you are just calculating the auxiliary equation what is the auxiliary equation f of m equal to 0 that means in the place of theta you are substituting m so that m cube minus m square plus 2 equal to 0 so how many values are there for m 3 values so by using your calculator directly you are getting the answer m is minus 1 and 1 plus or minus i so roots real and complex also so based on this particular roots you can directly write down yc so therefore your complementary part yc equal to how to write down first you write down the real part it is c1 e to the power of minus 1 into x corresponding to the complex roots plus it becomes c2 cos of so c2 cos of the imaginary part coefficient is 1 so 1 into shall i write x or z it is not actually x variable because it is converting into z variable it is z only c1 cos 1 into z plus c2 sin the imaginary part 1 into z multiplied by e to the power of so what about real part 1 so 1 into z so that is about your yc or i can write c1 e power minus z plus c2 cos z plus it is c3 sin z it is of e power z this is about yc now you are calculating yp so yp means 1 divided by f of theta of q so 1 divided by what about f of theta we calculated theta cube minus theta square plus 2 and q your right side 10 e power z plus e power minus z so now this is 10 constant i am just separating here 1 divided by theta cube minus theta square plus 2 it is of e power z and plus 1 divided by theta cube minus theta square plus 2 e power minus z so now this is equal to 10 so by applying your previous methods it is looking like e power ax type so directly theta is replaced by a value will you get a zero here in order to say whether it is zero or not look at this a value here a value is nothing but one so a value one means is that value present in the roots no so since that root is not present you will not get the zero value so directly it is 1 cube minus 1 square plus 2 and this is of e power j plus coming to that value here a value is minus 1 if i substitute here will you get the zero value automatically minus 1 is present in your given roots so definitely you will get zero in that case you write down in terms of factors so you are writing this factors it is theta plus 1 and another is theta square minus 2 theta plus 2. These factors can be calculated by based on your roots we calculated for m. So already one minus 1 is there so that you are getting theta plus 1. The remaining can be calculated by expression by applying synthetic division. So e power minus z you are just keeping as it is. Now this is equal to 10. So write down here. 1 cube minus 1 square so 1 minus 1 0 so totally you are getting 1 by 2 e power z plus 
now you are substituting that a value in that factor where you are not getting zero so if i write a value minus 1 here you will get zero value rest of the factor you are just substituting it is minus 1 whole square minus 2 into minus 1 and here it is plus 2 since here you are getting a zero value as per your principle the power is nothing but 1 so i can write here it is z divided by power value is 1 so 1 factorial and e to the power of minus z now this is 10 into it becomes 1 by 2 e power z and plus 1 divided by minus 1 whole square is 1 and it is plus 2 plus 2 and here we have z e power minus z or I am making the simplification individually 5 e power z it becomes 4 plus 1 5 it is only 2 z e power minus z so once you get yp therefore y equal to yc plus yp so what about yc c1 e power minus z plus c2 cos z plus c3 sin z and it is multiplied by e power z plus 5 e power z plus 2 z e power minus z but actually what is the meaning of e power z value we started with x equal to e power z value so that value you are substituting here c1 e power minus z can be taken as 1 by x plus it becomes c2 cos of that z value is nothing but log x plus c3 sin of z value is log x and totally e power z value which is nothing but x plus 5 into e power z is nothing but x plus 2 into z value becomes log x and e power minus z value is 1 by x. So that is about your complete solution corresponding to the given differential equation. Now let us have certain exercise problems. x square d square minus x d plus 1 of y equal to 2 log x. Shall I use Cauchy Euler equation for this? So d square coefficient must be x square. d coefficient must be x. If it is a d cube, definitely it should have x cube. So same model. So you apply your method and this is your answer. Okay. Coming to the next problem x cube d cube plus 3 x square d square plus x d plus 8 of y equal to 65 cos of log x. So you apply the same process and you will have set an answer somewhat lengthy better you apply in a systematic model. Coming to the third problem x square d square minus x d plus 2 of y equal to x log x. Same procedure. And the next one x square d square plus x d plus 1 of y equal to log x into sin of log x. So this is one more different type of problem on Cauchy Euler differential equation. Better you solve the last one and you text in the description whatsapp group comment so that I can verify your calculated answer. So with this your Cauchy Euler differential equation is closed. In the next video session, we directly enter into legendary differential equation. So, have a good day.